Welcome to this week's Dream Car Judging video here at BOTB. We'd now like to hand over to today's lawyer from Onside Law who'll oversee the proceedings. My name is Giuseppe Guardetti from Onside Law and I'll be overseeing the judging this morning. Firstly, I can confirm that the competition data has already been sent to the auditing company Assets. I would now like today's judges to introduce themselves and, using the secure link provided, mark on the screen where they think the center of the wall should be. The group will then come to a final panel decision. Good morning, my name is Matt Cannon. I'm a senior county referee and footballer. My name's Liam Walsh. I'm a retired referee, currently an FA observer and head coach for the Middlesex Referees Academy. I'm Matthew Ray. I've affiliated in multiple counties across England and have refereed from grassroots through to professional academies. I'm Nigel Hicks. I've been a Supply League match official for the best part of 30 years and I'm an experienced football administrator. Good morning. My name is Leo Donnellan. I'm an ex professional football player, having been with Chelsea, Fulham, and Leighton Orient. Good morning. My name is Hugh Gilroy. I'm a referee, mentor, tutor, and observer. Hi, my name is Kieran Fitzgibbon. I've played football for more than 30 years and am now a senior county referee. Good morning, my name is Alain Goma. I'm an ex-professional player, having played for Paris Saint-Germain, Newcastle and Fulham. Good morning, my name is Andy Braithwaite and I'm a football referee, mentor and licensed observer. Hi, I'm Jenna Scalacci, former professional footballer. I'm now a head coach in a Tottenham football programme. Judges, please now come to a final panel decision. For your reference, the larger white cross is the calculated average of the 10 individual selections. Thank you very much, Giuseppe. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Matt. Morning, Matt. Morning, Matt. Good morning. So we've got two players in shot. Uh, the player in the front is in the red. He's sort of dropping down from ahead. He sees his shirt sort of ruffled up and uh, looks like some a bit of air billowing up. Uh, so I suspect he's on his way down. He looks like he's misjudged the uh, um, the flight of the ball or possibly the white player is sort of who's coming through him has pushed him out of the way. Uh, and you've got two good eyes. He's looking up. Uh, above his head and slightly to his left, uh, you can see we've got these sort of bit of white on the le uh, on the left right side of his eye, um, left as we're looking at it. Uh, and the player is wide; he's got his arms up, his knee in the air, and he looks to me like he's sort of coming across to meet the ball. Um, obviously, it, he may well have played it, uh, but his eyes are open. We've got a, a fair spread uh, top to bottom, uh, and we've got a fairly tight cluster in the middle. So, if I first draw some lines up from this player in red uh, it's a pretty good agreement that it's uh it's sort of in a in a, in a line we've got um andy's out here just slightly to the right and then from this player in white we've got sort of one eye up towards liam's at the top and again jenna's at the bottom here let's get it across there okay so liam i'm gonna come first to you you're the uh dark um, green cross there, uh, magnified there, and I'll put the highlighter over the top. Um, how did you see uh, what was happening? Yeah, thanks, Matt. Um, I just felt the guy in red, I've looked, he's, he, I thought his body shape was very contorted and agree with that he was he was on his way down. The, the player in white was on his way up. Uh, he was going to, for me, he was, I've gone for the fact that the ball's coming into the player in white. Uh, Possibly others have gone for the fact that the red might have headed it up, looking at where the grouping is. That's fine. Um, he, I've looked at uh, red's head angle. He's sort of, his head's twisted to his right, but his eyes are going to his left. And then very slightly, that's what I picked up on, on the picture. Uh, and then with the white, yeah, we've got this one eye, his, his right eye clearly, you know, on the ball. And I went for just, I've gone just above horizontal. 
that the ball's going to be coming into him. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, Andy, you're also here on the right-hand side, um, sort of roughly in line with the main cluster, but a bit further right uh, of the lime green cross. There you are, magnified. Uh, and then I'll put, sorry, uh, highlighted, and I'll put the highlighter over the top of yours. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Um, to be honest, we're pretty much the same as what Liam uh, suggested there regarding the guy in white, um, although... I just feel uh, to me on his one, he's looking slightly higher. Uh, yes, just above um, horizontal. But for me, the guy in red, um, I've taken, as we're looking at the picture, uh, to the left of his eyes, there's quite a lot of white, which which tells me that he's looking at a slightly sharper angle. His mm. head is looking probably up where Liam is, in my opinion, um, and, and the majority of you guys. But his eyes are that little bit sharp. And as I said, with, with the amount of white that I can see, it led me to believe it was just that little bit sharper to the right. Yeah, thank you very much. That's, that's fully understood. Um, and then we've got a sort of a, a big cluster in the middle here. We've got myself just to the right of the calculated average and then uh, the rest of the choices below. Um, so I'll go to you, Anna. You're there, pink cross, uh, magnified. And I've put it over the, over the top of yours. How did you see this? Yeah, no, I agree with uh, what what has been said. I think you know both both players are in the air. Um, the player in white is coming from the left, uh, is jumping, is in movement, is attacking the ball, while the the player in red, I think, is is uh, is jumping from the spots. Um, but I think the you know the player in white is favourite uh, to have this ball. Uh, yeah, as my colleague said, I think it's looking you know slightly, very slightly above uh, horizontal. Um, for the player in red, you know, I took a line, you know, from his nose and his mouth, and uh, I went slightly on the right uh, because, as you can see, his, uh, his uh, especially his right eye is looking slightly across. Um, this is where I uh, uh, I put my cross there. Thank you very much. Uh, and then next to yours is uh, Kieran's. Kieran, there you are, uh, uh, magnified. How did you see this? Any different from Alan, or, or you? No, not really. I think I'm much the same, Matt. Um, I, I've taken most of my uh, guidance from the player in white, who I think is coming in, possibly made contact with the player in red, which is why he may not be looking directly at the ball, although I think he's trying to. But um, yeah, I, I, otherwise I agree with what everybody else has said. I think the player in white's coming through to play the ball. The player in red, not sure whether he's um, coming down. It looks like it with the billowing shirt, but possibly it could be the contact made from the player in white, um, but otherwise, I took the eye lines from both players, and that's why I polished my cross there. Thank you. And Nigel, you're next. You're the the, the dark blue cross there, uh, magnified. You're just to the left of yep. uh, Alain and uh, Kieran. Yeah, thanks, Matt. So, yeah, I've seen it very much the same as Alain and uh, and Kieran. That, uh, you know, I, I do think that the player in the white has, has made contact with the red, and, and that's shaping the, uh, the red player's body and his direction of travel. And he's just trying to keep his eyes on the ball. You know, I thought the player in white, we can just see enough of his eyelid there for me to suggest that uh, he's looking slightly up because his head's tilted back, but pretty horizontal. So, so not far off the horizontal, just slightly yeah. up. That's all. Okay, thank you. Uh, Matthew, you're in yellow there, uh, hidden behind the, just the bottom of this sort of other little cluster of three. How did you see this? Yes, I agree with Andy when he says that the, the player in red, his left eye, is looking that bit sharper, but I actually think the other eye is, is looking the direction um, of his head. So I drew the two eye lines from the red player, not not intersecting, um, and had to just go for the center of the ball between the two. And then for the player in white, I, I think it's pretty much a horizontal view uh, across. So that that's just intersected at that point, and uh, yeah, place the ball there. Yeah, great, thank you. Um, and then we have Leo. Yeah, you're just there, Leo. Just uh above Matthews. How did you see this as a, as a challenge? Yeah, hi Matt. Yeah, I think um, the player in white is is above the player in red, so he's he's going to head this ball. Um, I think the, the player in red has basically been bullied out of the way, really. Um, yeah, if you look at the player in red, his eyes, uh, one is, his, his left eye is looking uh, more to the right, and his other eye is slightly looking more straighter. So I sort of went in between both of those eyes for, for 
guidance on that one and with the player in white I went pretty much directly across Matt but just slightly up um, so obviously I cross reference their eyes but as I said the player in white is he's gonna he's gonna win this challenge yeah great thank you and Hugh you're there a uh, purple cross you're in the middle of it all again uh, there we are um, how did you see this yeah, not too dissimilar to what's been said. Um, I wasn't too sure if the ball had been played just because sort of his body position, where his leg is, his arm, maybe could see spray around the player in white's head. I wasn't sure if it had been played, but from my lines, as everyone said, it, it was horizontal for me from the white player and then up to kind of his top right from, from the player in red who's, who's obviously off balance. Yeah, OK, thank you. And lastly, Jenna, there you are. You're, you're the lowest of the choices. Um, how did you see the challenge? Yeah, I agree with you with the guy in red. I think he's mistimed his his jump. Um, he's on the way down. I think for me, the player in white is coming through to, to win the ball. Um, I took the player in white's eye line. I thought it was a bit flatter. That's why I've gone slightly below everyone else. Um, and mainly the guy in red's left eye, the one that's more in focus. Um, and that's where I've come to my point there. Okay, thank you. So as we see, we've got a, a fair spread. I mean, we have the majority uh, of the crosses lower than this calculated average. Um, and I think Liam and Annie's are far enough away for me to remove them. Um, and you'll see that this average is brought down. I'll also draw some, um, some lines, uh, further lines, just to get rid of... Um, the wider spread so we see that there's there's quite a a narrow choice which with jenna slightly to the left and mine ever so slightly to the right but there's actually quite a narrow band and then again looking across from this player again we've got myself at the top now uh and jenna's a little bit away from the cluster at the bottom and if i put the highlighter over the top uh you'll see that um jenna's is slightly popping out the bottom um, if i remove jenna's um, it goes into a very, very tight cluster with really, um, well, as tight a cluster as I've, I think we've ever seen. Um, so I'm of a view, I will remove Liam and Andy, and then we'll have a little debate on whether Jenna's should be left in. Um, but personally, I can't see how we can justify it because of the way um, she's popping out the at the bottom of the of the magnifier and that is such a tight cluster for the remaining um choices uh, but i would like your views on that so um if i can start with you liam yeah thanks <laughs> thanks matt yeah. um uh, i fully agree with being removed by the way uh uh for the, that spot on no problem with that at all um uh sorry jenna i'm going to say to come out because it just pulls it uh, tighter into the, the cluster of seven. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Matthew? It's a tight call, this one. Um, mm. And I think mainly going with the principle that the highlighter should be over the cluster. Um, even though removing Jenna's moves across further away from mine, I would vote to remove. Thank you very much. Uh, Nigel? Uh, thanks. As you say, tight call, but I, I would say Jenna in, uh, it moves it away from where I put my cross and where I think the centre of the ball is. So I would say Jenna in. Okay, thank you. Leo? I would remove Jenna. Thank you. Um, Hugh? I'd say remove just on how tight the cluster is and we've often gone with magnifier covering all the spots. So for us, seven to still be in. Thank you. Like. Kieran? Yes, Matt, I, I think remove Jenna, but also another reason would be we had two others that were higher and that sort of counterbalances those that were taken out. So I think not just the quite tight cluster, but also the balancing of the overall 10 judges. Thank you. Ella? Yeah, no, I agree with Kieran. I think if we remove, uh, if we remove Liam and uh, Andy, I think we should remove uh, uh, Jenna also. Yeah, thank you. Andy? Uh, in relation to my own opinion, I would have to remove it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and sorry, Jenny, you don't get a vote um, on, on this one. Um, I, I think it's a correct thing to do because it is a very tight cluster. And uh, although Liam and Andy are, are quite a way further out, it does mm -hmm. skew that calculated average quite a bit further over and leaves a lot of uh, votes on one side of the calculated average. But thank you very much. Um, 
So Giuseppe, after a, a, a good debate, we've decided to proceed after a vote to remove Jenna's after myself removing Liam and Andy's um, previously. Okay, so you're happy with that decision? Yes, thank you, Giuseppe. Thank you. Um, in that case, then please click submit. Thank you, judges. The coordinates selected are X3317, Y630. These coordinates will now be passed to the auditing company ASIT to calculate the winner of the competition, and they will then inform BOTB. That concludes the judging process. Thank you.